Oh, she might one-shot me here. Let's heal. I have no clue how much damage she does, but I feel like it isn't going to be a little. Heal. We gotta stop getting hit by that. That didn't hit me, did it? No, it didn't. Good, good, good. Jesus Christ, the man's a queen. All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to part, I believe, 18 already. God damn, we're going fast today. Uh, guys, I was just doing a bit of side missions, and, um, well, basically, I uh, thought I'd just do it a bit off-camera because um, I could just kind of play through and relaxing because I really haven't had time to play the game myself without recording it. But basically, I was doing Starcross Trooper Companion side mission, and... Um, now we're about to kill uh, a giant man, uh, giant something something. I forgot the name. And I actually thought it would be pretty fun to uh, pretty fun to record that. So right now we're gonna do Starcross Trooper, and uh, let's see what we can do else in this episode. In the next one, we're gonna be continuing with um, the main story. So yeah, first we gotta go in this cave and clear out all her belongings. So that means fat loads for me. <laughs> That's what you gotta take, you baby. That's where you gotta take it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Woo, titty. You weren't expecting that one, were you? You weren't expecting that D, huh? Where are you running to, baby? Where are you going to? Yeah, that's what I mean, right? Right, so now we just clear out our old base. Place the first glance. Well, here we go. Spot. This is gonna be awesome. Well, because we're ready for that. Storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs, and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. Oh man, that sucks. First night, Hayes and I spent in here. We knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. All right. With you there. You know, it it did feel a bit different when we walked in. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here. And there ain't anything you can do about it. Right. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Alright, that's pretty good. Let her talk. I thought you'd taken someone else's abandoned property. You build all this? We hold in steel. Alright. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. <laughs> Four of us nice. for a while. Scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. Well, wow, look and at that. Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking That's her on Sharon first. then, I guess. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. All right, a teenager out there in a monarch wellness? You must have been a brave kid. More like attached at the hip to her older sister. <laughs> kind of I like that. Them, I, I like that. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Oh, you never bet, huh? Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal. Sharon. And me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Oh, Charon. Despite Monarch take trying to kill us day in and day out. <laughs> Sharon. Well, I, thought, I thought I came pretty close to that name. I thought we got pretty close. All right, I'm sorry they aren't here. But let's kick some manty ass. Let's do this. Incoming! Here we go, guys. Here we fucking go. Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah. Take that. Oh, shit. She goes, whoa, holy fuck. Come on, come on. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Everybody died instantly. Jesus Christ. 
I gotta take out these small manticores first. Take this fucker out as quickly as we can before the queen comes. Oh man, my entire team's dead already. I didn't expect this to be so one-shotting. All right, one down. Let's take it in and running. Going to grab my gun so we can capacitate the bitch. All right, she just got weakened and blinded. Let's see what we can do. Let's get the fuck running, 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 running. So this is what I wanted to show you guys per se. <laughs> my death. Oh Jesus, that's gonna do a fuck ton of burn damage. We gotta run. Run, 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 run. Let's take out this little fucker. Those things will be a problem later on. Right, so I think we took one out in our harm center. Let's go around, loop here. Let's take a health pot again. Right, one down. Two down. There's a queen. Oh, crap! Had a feeling she was close. Got him. Got him, titty! Oh, burn damage again. She hit me. I'm crippling her. Let's take it back a bit. We gotta make sure our Q reloads as much as we can. Let's see if we can take a bit of more potions, because we need to get some extra attributes. No, I'm in use. Uh, let's use that. Body attributes, yes. Critical damage. Perfect. And, um... Let's use that one. That one, too, for harmful effects, and we should be okay right now. Let's uh, lead her to a bunch of traps. Maybe we can do some from there on. Chase me, B. Chase me. Shit, she hit me again. A little closer. Boom. Hit her with the grenade. We gotta play around, baby. Where you going? We're gonna aim for her legs to cripple her. Oh, she might one shot me here. Let's heal. I have no clue how much damage she does, but I feel like it isn't going to be a little. Heal. We've got to stop getting hit by that. That didn't hit me, did it? No, it didn't. Good, good, good. Jesus Christ, the man's queen. Oh my god, she does so much damage, dude. many debuffs we're giving her yet. She's still freaking almost one-shotting my ass. I gotta get some more food going because it can't seem to do much to her right now. No, just use. What do I can use? What can I use to heal? Let's use a fuck ton of those. I'm not 100% sure what they do. 200% natural health. It seems pretty strong. Crit damage, weak spots damage. Take one of those. Take one of those. Take one of those. We gotta heal up somehow. We gotta take cover. We gotta heal somehow, because I don't know how we're supposed to do this else. A manta swarm. Gotta aim quick. Gotta shoot at everything we got. Can't hit me from there. Run, run, run. Take her to this explosive. That's a big one. Drag her to her. Slowly but surely. Come here, you bitch. Crap. Come on, come around. Alright, so 
Time to get out. Time to climb back up here. This was a really good spot. Guys, if you're struggling with this, make sure you try keeping up this hill. You have lots of cover. You should be able to kill her right from here. Take it easy, take it slow. This bitch will die. And I don't care how long it'll be taking me. Alright, so this is still my first try, so we're not uh, doing too bad. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, god damn. That was hard. It killed Sam and uh, my girl instantly. That's crazy. I have to do it all by myself. All by my lonely self. Not too bad, though. I'm pretty, uh, Mark III helmet. Nah, that's alright. Okay. Uh, Jesus, let's loot her. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. Fat loots. Talk to Naoka. 26k for that mission. Holy here. shit. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. <laughs> By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but. That's fine. That also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome, babe. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd. I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before sure, man. everyone's medallions to rest. Let's do it. Uh, you're leaving them there as here? That's... I suppose that's wise. Go ahead. Ooh! Cinematic! Oh, no, no cinematic. <laughs> oh well, we level up again! Jesus! We're going for it, guys. Uh, what are we gonna put points in this time? Let's go ahead and put some points into talking a bit more. Let's get a lie to 60. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Every single spell needs to be that. Okay. Um, let's get a few more points into tech. And let's put... Man, what are we doing? Uh, let's put two more points in... Uh, let's get them into dialogue. Not because we gotta, but because we can. Alright, so that's another companion mission done. Uh, let's go ahead and see... Now we have to go get Parvati again. Oh yeah, guys, if you haven't noticed already, I got Sam. Uh, I got him from the cleaning uh, side mission. If I can recommend you guys something, get this guy. He's absolutely incredible and put per points in extra health and extra threat. And then give him some extra damage. And this guy tanks everything. He's really good. I'm not 100% sure what kind of armor he wears though, but... Uh, you know, probably something. Probably something. So right now for the journal, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing uh, Don't Bite the Sun, I think. Let's go ahead and do that one. Continue with that one <clears throat> and see what we can do uh, in the future from now on. So guys, if you have been enjoying the episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment down below if you haven't done so already. And I got to admit, guys, you guys are pretty awesome. You guys are pretty sweet. Thank you so much, and uh, you're the best audience in YouTube, in case you didn't know that yet. I am here to tell you now. Oh man, I've been, just been drinking Red Bulls all day. I've been recording non-stop. I started today and got almost four videos recorded now. Uh, still have a lot of hours to go, so um, let's see how far we can get today. Usually my voice starts to hurt a little bit <laughs> after a while, but uh, before that we can just continue. If you haven't heard so, guys, yet, I'm giving away two copies of Star Wars Jedi, which is releasing um, the upcoming 15th, which is next week, Friday, uh, or upcoming Friday, at least. And I hope you guys are excited for that one, because there's a pretty large chance of you guys winning that if you, uh, if you want it. So, <clears throat> there you go. After this video, I'm going to take a quick break, because um, I kind of need to eat and take a, take a good old drinky poo, you feel me? It's a big old sippy poo. Let's uh, back to the groundbreaker docking bay. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. And um, we are supposed to be doing which one now? Uh, don't bite the sun. So you got to pick up Parvati. Make sure when you're doing companion missions that you do pick the proper companion uh, to come before you do that, or else the mission won't work. Or else you just end up being there, standing there with your face all mushed up like a retard, and then... It won't work! It won't work. Alright, so uh, let's head down to customs. 
In an earlier side mission I have done, basically Parvati is a lesbian, and uh, <laughs> it comes just straight out here. She's she's gay, and um, or she's in love with this other mechanic who does the whole ship here. So basically, they started dating and hanging out and uh, texting each other. And right now, she's gonna ask her to be a permanent relationship, and they want to do it on my ship. So let's go ahead and continue with that. Right, that is this mission, right? Come by the sun. Parvati wants to smarten herself up and date Junlei. Yeah, she's after specific supplies. So let's get if those you're supplies. Here for this week's magazine club meeting. You're a touch late. Uh, what? No, I'm good. My engineer looking to do some deep cleansing. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a, a home makeup kit, kit, huh? And I snagged wow. a couple for myself. That sounds good. High grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Wow. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. <laughs> I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Uh, you got a preference, Parvati? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. Probably engine. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, wow. If I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. Right. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about. Oh my God! Now they're asking me to pick a lady scent. Uh, we'll talk it over and get back to you. Rosius, when it comes to romance, you can't go wrong with the classics. How about mock apple and cinnamon? Parvati sweet, just like a pie. <laughs> An engineering might like refurbished ships, scrub parts, and all that. Uh, Captain, <laughs> I'll just wrap that up for you. Since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. Wow. You're welcome, dear. You're welcome, Barry. Alright, thanks for your Anytime, time. Anytime, sweetheart. Captain! <laughs> it's okay, Hope girl, we got you. We got is extra strength. I'm feeling a might ripe. Uh, so there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Wow. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. Of course, Saltuna. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Wow. And there's gotta be some place in All sounds a delicious. Casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Nice. All right, uh, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. I hope so. Find some sweetheart cakes and buy a dusty casserole. Dear God, women are complicated, right guys? Jesus. Jesus. Making man's life difficult since 2044. I don't know where I got that date from, but uh, he's going to have to accept it. Alright, looks like we got to head back to the unreliable. So, um... Actually, never mind. Oh, your face is a sight for sore eyes. A sight for sore eyes. Gee, thanks. Much appreciated, uh, Ada. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. Alright, sweet. Let's go ahead and collect whatever the hell she needs. Uh, we might continue this mission in the, a future episode if we don't make it in this one. I really gotta take a break soon because my throat's kind of really starting to hurt, but, um... You know what? Bug it. I usually don't talk this much. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised, assholes. <laughs> but fuck it. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get whatever the hell she needed on frickin' Monarch, for Christ's sake. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, we have to take a right here. All right. 30 more meters. Should be getting pretty close now to that shop. Where is it? Right here. No, six. Yeah, it's in here, I think. 
No, that door seems to be pretty closed. How about uh, in... Oh. There you go. Let's go and talk, talk to Chef Raymond. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about lost my jumpsuit. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Why would you admit that to anyone? <laughs> Because there's no shame in having overactive bladder muscles, all right? Jesus. It's a perfectly normal medical condition. I don't think it is. Besides, life in this town is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Okay, um, my engineer's looking to get a dustback casserole. Okay, cook those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. I suppose. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I suppose. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. Intimidate. You take me for an idiot? No damn casserole's worth that much. Try again, try harder. What? No, Captain, I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear <laughs> from the outset. Look, Captain, this is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. All right, I'm glad you saw reason. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the hour. 2,000 bits for a goddamn casserole. Parvati, this better be goddamn this. worth it. Jesus. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. <laughs> I lost 2,000 bits. To help such Jesus. A charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? He's kind of a brute. <laughs> Gosh, my tongue's rumbling. Just smelling that casserole. You better. Oh my God! Can you imagine if she says no? Jesus, that will be awful. That will be awful. All right. Uh, find the sweetheart cakes in the old Rizzo's facility in Cascadia, Monarch. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and go towards that. Let's see how far it is real quick, though, because I might need to end the episode here. Because if I'm going to keep talking, I might lose my voice, and that means I cannot be recording anymore a little bit later on. <laughs> is it that bad? Yeah, it is that bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Over there. That's not too bad. It's near the Cascadia landing pot, though, so that is hostile. Um... Yeah, let's go and fast travel there real quick and in the episode and continuing this in the next one where we also will be continuing uh, the main story. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. And, um, well, much appreciated. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!